Hi guys, I'm Kylie and welcome to my kitchen. So this weekend I had my very first adult holiday. I hosted 10 people at my house for Easter. I made a ham, I made sweet potatoes, I had a bunch of really good food, but that also means I had a lot of leftover produce in my fridge. So I didn't want it to go to waste and I wanted to make something new because I'm sick of eating the same leftovers. So I have some leftover onion, carrots, and celery that I chopped up and I thought this could make a delicious crock pot meal. So in addition to all that, I've got some thyme, tarragon, parsley, a few bay leaves, some diced up white potatoes, and then I saved my ham bones and the rest of my leftover ham chopped up, and I've got some chicken broth, and I'm gonna throw it in the crock pot on low for eight hours, and I'm gonna make a tasty leftover ham stew. Now if you don't have these exact same ingredients, do not stress. The great thing about a crock pot is, as long as you have some sort of protein, preferably an onion, maybe a few other veggies, salt and pepper, and a broth of any kind, you can make a really good stew as well. So let's throw up the crock pot, put it on low for eight hours, and let's have some dinner. The ham is frozen and it's in a ham ball. I'm trying to separate it so it fits in the crock pot. <laughs> yeah. of a crock pot. All you need is 10 minutes of chopping vegetables, a leftover ham or turkey or chicken or what have you, throw it all together and you got yourself at least a couple nights worth of dinners. Now if you excuse me, I need to have some one-on-one -on -one time with this ham and potatoes. Mm. Oh good. <laughs> okay, I'm done being a pig on camera. <laughs>